to Metal to Metal special coverage of Winter Destruction 2010. Studio B is in the door! Severe weather has not got power to tens of thousands! Don't worry, Studio K is running and well supplied. Hey everybody, it's uh, 23rd of November 2010. We are traveling the wreckage here in Washington State. I'm Pat Duncan. That's Brent Willard in the Hummer. My wife Jamie in the back seat. So we are going to be checking out some stuff that's uh, in the ditch around our storm we got this week. Hey guys, it's Brent. Uh, like Pat said earlier, it's November 23rd. Getting ready for Metal Tuesday. Had a kind of a perfect storm last night. Snowed a few inches real fast. Kind of thawed and then froze down to about 15 to 20 degrees and it caught people completely off guard. And as we go, you're gonna see cars all over the place. Matter of fact, that SUV up there looks like it's stuck in the ground. And what happened was everybody got caught at work and then it got cold. So by about four o'clock, the roads were a solid sheet of ice and people in just commuter cars were just hammered everywhere because there was no snow yesterday morning. It all came yesterday and then froze on us. See the road is just one solid sheet of ice. We've got a little Jeep pickup truck here, our first victim. Even four wheel drive won't help you out when it's icy. Were you recording? Brent is back in the truck with his <laughs> Sobe and the traditional spicy hot pork rinds ready for the road trip. All these guys just gave up. Pretty much all over the right, look at this guy. Honey, I think I uh, got her on three-wheel motion. Wow. Here's a little wreckage. There's a future derby car, too. A Caprice. Solancha. Of course, the Hummeronski having no trouble today. It's still about 22 degrees outside right now. 24, according to the Hummeronski. Work shut down for most people, except for the four guys trying to get the power back on. We are here at the home of the cone, Ken Nelson. His mom's letting him come out and play. Come on, Ken, let's go for a ride! There's a tree right over this house here. Free wood? Huh? Free wood? Yeah. What are you doing here? Going to get Dan. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just dragging some of it out. All right, later. <laughs> Enter the war zone, Berlin's Point. There's another big tree down right over there. There's gotta be one of those way back there because it's on this point right there. What's that? Oh, the party. That, that's it right there. That's it, that, that brown one right there on the corner. What is it? Oh, it was a party house that we always used to hang out at. Oh, hello, nice baby. Welcome to the party, cracker. How the hell? God damn it, Brent, I can't fit. All right, the... Do you know these guys? Yeah. We're in Dan's neighborhood here, formerly known as the Beer Man. And, uh, Everybody's happy that they're getting their five minutes in the sun, but they're probably not happy their big tree fell down. <laughs> okay, we're coming back on the scene here. And apparently this Chevy truck got grenaded. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's that one. It's got hit a little bit. Oh, there's a car right there. New Derby car. Anybody need a new Buick? Give us a little window clearage here. We see the poor saps that tried and failed to make it up the hill last night. Looks like a lot of Chevy products in there and a Ford sideways. Don't see many Dodges in here, that's weird. That's yep. an interesting strategy for parking. <laughs> oh. All right, Subaru, a little Will Rider Honda. All right, cherries and blueberries up here. Oh, 
oncoming lane. We got a box fan over there. These guys trying to get to work this morning. There's Susie's uh, Suzuki. Gotta thank our public service. The buses are still rolling, folks. It's a rough day out here in Washington. Sometimes you never know what you're gonna see. Yeah, snowstorm coming in. It's pretty bad. We get by one day at a time. Winter destruction 2010.